What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to have another ranked match video recording for you. Uh, I'm now fourth in the ladder, so getting close to uh, where I hope to stay. Um, and today we're going to play Tempo Order. Um, this is what I've been doing for Tempo Order. Uh, actually... I slightly altered that and made a Tempo Order Spiky deck because I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of Tempo Order decks, and so Spiky is a good counter to that. Uh, disease, good luck, have fun. Um, I'll keep this starting hand, get rid of the early favorite because favorite doesn't really do a whole lot without Dominion, but with Dominion it is amazing for Tempo Order. Won me quite a few matches already. All right, energy. Um, that probably is one of the worst matchups for uh, Temple Order because I don't have uh, I don't have anything like Wings of Orders, um, the lingering spell that gives you magic armor, uh, anything like that. So we're just gonna have to go full on an attack. Expedition Guard is good for that because we'll probably have a high attack with all the automatons that uh, Disease will be playing. I will. Rid of one of these eight, or I could just move up and put an Asian knight down. Try to engage there. Nah, I need to ramp up. I'm gonna put you in the back too because I think you're gonna be very important. You can have such high attack. You can be uh, with a bunch of automatons on the board. He's gonna one shot idols. Actually, playing against automatons isn't too bad because. You tend to be able to get a lot of idle damage in. So it'd be nice if I drew a four. Oh. Okay. He is uh, a scary one, that's for sure. Uh, let's let's get rid of the roasted bean potion for scrolls. Nice. Drew another expedition guard. Do I want to play that? Yeah, sure. play right here so this coming turn I want to be able to pother uh, some way to kill the storm okay so now do I go for a pother two-thirds chance let's do it yes Awesome. Um, let's get rid of Royal Spearman for Scrolls. I want to see if I can do a four drop next turn. No, nope, but Expedition Guard is fine. And also put our Asian Knight down just for good measure. All right, so very good Pother Bear. Storm Runners are always a uh, hassle if you can't deal with them. And we'll see if Disease is going to sink his resources into protecting this gun automaton. So, yeah, so still. Still two order decks at least are very viable uh, post echoes. There's a lots of temple order builds and there's a lots of late game order builds. You saw me play late game order in ranked probably two ranked videos ago. Um, yeah, so he's just gonna give up that automaton up there. That guy gets pretty big. I'm worried about him. Uh, it's time to go up. Let's get rid of the Royal Spearman. Uh, Kill you. I, I he could thunder with a, he could thunder surge with a power trip, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just going to play my creatures. And I have three expedition guards down. Like I said, those guys deal a lot of idle damage. But I'm gonna need like a pother or something to get this wind-up automaton out of the way or kill it don't have I'm not running flips in this deck there's so many awesome scrolls uh, that can fit into tempo order now um, it's very hard to choose yeah this guy may have taken the cake for best uh, three drop in no order maybe may have overtaken royal skirmisher because in a lot of matchups he just becomes like a huge attack four health three drop uh, let's let's see Hmm. 
Decimation is good to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, so I'll just play a Relaross this turn, but is there a way for me to stay out of a Thunder Surge? No, there really isn't. Whatever, I'm just going to bunch up. If he does Thunder Surge me, that means he has like a, a turn where he didn't play anything though, so I can get some idle damage in. And with a Relaross down, it'll then these two guys would still attack. That would be pretty good for me. So I'd like to draw a Focus or a Blessing Mace or some kind, of, some kind of spell so I can increase their attack. Or is that new 3 drop? Oh yeah, another great 3 drop that came with Echoes for Order uh, along with Expedition Guard is... Um... I forgot his name. I keep forgetting all the Echo Scrolls names. I know what they do. Uh, he's like the 2-2-3 two, two, that gives attack to all adjacent creatures. He's really nice. Good, I got a Pother. I'm going to... Okay, I have a two-thirds chance of this Pother. Actually, I could just go like this, right? Yeah, I'll do it like this. So you are going to die. You are going to die. I'm set up for a big attack next turn. And I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of one of the Royal Skirmishers. Then I'll play a Skirmisher down. Anyway, so very, very strong start for me. Because of these guys. So much attack. And I could win the game very soon. There's a burn on him. Yeah, playing these three jobs means he has to use his burns on, like, lesser creatures. I mean, Royal Skirmisher's not really a lesser creature, but you know what I mean. Uh, if I roast a Bean Potion, you go to three attack. Let's get rid of the favorite, even though we're set to get to a minion this turn. Or maybe we're not, I don't know. Oh, I want to destroy this thing. So maybe not the best place for a decimation, but whatever. I don't want to let him get a gun automaton. And there, now I have Dominion. And my board looks pretty good. A Rolleros. And three Butchers. Look at their giant... What do you call that? A Scythe? No, that's something else. I don't know. They definitely It definitely fits for their giant attack value. Yeah, I guess it is like a Butcher, because he gets plus attack for... Uh, opponent not humans so that means he's like killing animals yeah there's like a dead beast right there okay um, let's get rid of the royal skirmisher mm -hmm. six is gonna bring you to seven and then Proud Mercenary is going to give bring it to Alright, we're just going to try to win this game fast. So, like that. And then like that. And there is another destroyed idol. And I have a favored for this coming turn. Favored gives plus 5 attack and plus 2 health. A very uh, powerful scroll once Dominion gets activated. Let's see if we can get the round 10 victory. That would be uh, that would be ideal. So yeah, this this video turns out it's gonna be pretty short. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to fit another one in there. I mean, I think uh, a short video now and then makes up for how I have. Oh, actually, maybe it's not gonna be over so soon. That was a very good bombard by him. The power trip into that. I mean, the power trip didn't draw a scroll, but yeah. Yeah, but I have had, a, have had a lot of long videos lately. Like, a few videos ago, I had a string of like three straight 50 minute videos. And also, if you need more scrolls, just check out the NERP Streams YouTube channel. Because uh, I've been streaming a lot lately, so there's a bunch of two, three hour streams you can catch up on if you would like to. Uh, let's. Um, let's keep the Vanguard. 
just more uh, resource efficient. And yep, those three guards. I'll destroy one of those. And I'll put down a Royal Vanguard. I'm not going to put the Royal Vanguard right in the middle. I'll probably move him to the middle next turn to Blessing and Pace him to get extra attack. But right now I don't want to do that because uh, you would get full effect of your Blast Strike ability if he was right there touching everybody. So I should get good rating uh, if I win this. Because I found the match relatively quickly, so disease must be probably over 1700 at least. Right now I'm 1850, so maybe 1750 is because uh, I found the match within like within like probably like 10 seconds, five seconds. With a focus, a favored, and a blessing of haste in our hands, uh, this might be disease's last turn alive. And I can play all three of these scrolls. He has to clear the board fast. I'm not sure how he's going to do that. He'd need like power trips and units and then a bombard. Oh, that's going to be game. Can I destroy multiple idols here? So... Let's go like this. I'll show those two. So, Blessing of Haste, Focus, Favored. Not quite, but whatever. I failed at the BM, did not destroy the other idol. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, because I killed the unit, which lowered his attack. Yeah, he had four attack. He had 7 attack, uh, but then when I killed uh, the scout automaton with this guy, his attack lowered to 6, so. Now there's two 1 health idols here, I mean, this, well I guess this lengthens the video a bit, <laughs> but uh, I have at least, I think, two more decimations in this deck cycle. So if we can't win this turn, then, yeah. But he's definitely going to be able to block up, probably, because I don't have any relentless units on my side. So, yeah. Definitely had lethal that turn, but I kind of messed it up trying to go for the two idols instead. It's really not that worth it to do that. You get 20 extra gold. It's just a habit of mine. I always try to go for um, extra idols if I can. I don't even need the gold. The gold is like... You get so much gold for nat matches now. Okay, potion resistance there. Now, do we have lethal? I think we do. Yep, so we just have to roasted bean potion. Blessing of haste. GGWP. Let's see, yeah, he was over 1700 rating, exalted caller. 13 rating, 1863. Uh, does that shoot us into looks like we're still fourth let's see what's anti rods rating or no I am uh, I'm third anti rods 1853 just didn't update yet all right so I'll try to try to hold that or get higher rest of the week because I want a high seed for the minecon qualifier number two this Sunday and I want to get back to my weekly winning ways uh, so that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Make sure you follow on Twitch and Twitter. Doing a lot of streaming lately. And keep on scrolling, scrollers. I'll see you next time.